Hey everybody, welcome to Friday's Forever. It's our YouTube channel, and I'm Mike. And I'm Karen. And we've got a surprise. Yes, you know we've been telling you all about this. It's right behind us, right here. Surprise! It's a Winnebago Travado 59G. Side. Now we still got the little diesel, it's still going to be taking us a lot of places to still be doing different reviews, different places, you know, cabins and hotels and yes, stuff. But absolutely, this will help us uh, to get around the Smoky Mountains because we've been wanting to do a lot of the campgrounds. Yes, we? and we'll already have a place to sleep and stay. Yeah. Big T can come along with us, and it'll be a great place, safe place for him to, to stay when we're out and about and he can't go with us inside someplace yeah yeah so it's got heat and air inside and like if we need to leave big t behind we could stick him in there and he yes. would be perfectly fine so. yes and we're in the mountains today and it is cold <laughs> yeah even some snow flurries falling mm -hmm. here in upper east tennessee and appalachians it's been unseasonably warm um for the fall time of year but seems like winter's arrived mike yeah it does <laughs> So we're just going to show you the van, guys, and um, it's a real blessing to us, yes. and um, we're thankful. Yes. But um, we'll do a deeper dive into it at some point, and you'll be yeah. seeing it in a lot of our videos yes. and stuff like that. And we'll just do a complete tour at that point, but today we're just going to go and give you an idea of what it looks like on the inside and walk around the outside. Yes. And um, Tell you more about yeah. it, and then we'll bring you more about it when we spend a night in it the first time. We're excited and we thank, we thank the Lord on the way to the mountains today just for the opportunity to have this. Yes. Like I was saying, it is uh, Winnebago Travado 59G. I'm going to say a big special thanks to A&L RV Sales.com for partnering with us and helping us get this, right? Yes. Thank you guys so much. Yes, we, appreciate we appreciate it. your crew there. Uh, there's an awning up there. You hear Big T in there. He's he's excited. And then here is um, does have a little um, port if you want some more solar. There's solar up on on top. And then you have a cable there if you wanted to put a TV outside and some more power. A couple of powers there. And back here you can see air conditioner up there on top. There's a ladder. And there's a bicycle rack. I've got a bike, but you don't have a bike, do you? I don't you? have a bike, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we may have to look into that. It does come with the hitch. You can see there. Of course, we stuck on our Fridays Forever magnet on there. Yeah, I've got to have that. Yep. Then around on this side, you can see there is a light up there. So let me open up the back and show them. So just with the doors opened up, you can see there, there is an um, exterior light up there. There's a switch right there. If you're out here doing some work at night, there's some storage right in here. A little more storage here. And then this is um, the kind of place where you add water, where you winterize it. There's a little shower you can put in here. These are nice. I like that they're insulated really well. And of course you have the nice netting there. That, um, mm -hmm. So if you wanted to open the doors and have a breeze go through. Yeah, and you could lay there in bed with the doors open and listen to the crickets. The rivers and the, the creeks rivers, and yes. everything Won't go by. I have to bring my sound machine. No. So let's take them inside and give them a look. All right, guys, come on in. Let's take a look inside. So this. you can see the front part. Yeah, we got big teeth stuff in here. We carry all his stuff in the one one bag. Mm -hmm. Now here's another screen that you could just unstrap and roll it down, and it zips up. And it's got some magnets. You can see right there when you go in and out. There is a light right there that's kind of it's kind of nice too. Now here is um, the awning in and out, and it's got a 
coach battery off and on which is really nice awning lights fire extinguisher um, bring you guys on in you can see here the seats are really nice in it and it's got navigation and you can see up in the front window the blackout shades and then there's more blackout shades that are up here in this storage area for the side windows storage here. Mm -hmm. And this window has a, these windows open and this has a shade that you can pull down, a privacy shade. Yeah. Um, here's a nice table you can eat at or bring your laptop and do some work. And like I was saying outside, both of these seats swivel around and face back this mm -hmm. way. There is some storage right down here. And this TV is really nice because it has an arm on it, adjustable arm. You can pull it down and pull it closer to you this way. And when you're sitting in the seats up there, you can be looking back. And even bring it all the way out here in the hall so that it's facing back here to the bed area. And there's a Bose soundbar. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. Let me show it right up here. This is uh, wherever everything's at light switch, a power control system. You got um, one place that's right here where you can check your battery levels, tank levels. This is also where you would start and stop the generator. This is for your Truma system which is heat and that's an inverter. Then there's an LP valve right there and also a holding tank here. Let's show everybody the kitchen area. Yes. So this comes up right here to make a longer countertop when you're having to needing to cut stuff or prepare food. And then this acts as a countertop too when you're not using the sink. But then it has a nice sink on it. Um, this is a two burner propane stove eyes that you can use. Um, now, we will still be using our little Blackstone griddle, right? Oh, yeah. I don't really like to cook inside right. that much. I mean, we may heat up some water if it's really cold right. out. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we're going to be cooking on the Blackstone. And mm -hmm. right now, we just got a few things thrown in here because we haven't been on a trip yet. More storage bin up here. Um, here's like a little, you can make a pantry or you can hang some things in it and make it like a closet we'll probably use it as a pantry um, here's a microwave which is really nice and then a refrigerator and freezer and up here is an exhaust fan so you know a lot of times when you're in the mountains you don't need air conditioning you just turn that on, open up some windows, and let the air flow through, right? Right. Of course, life is better in the mountains. Another window here with the night shade on it. You can see there, that goes all the way up at night. So you can see there's more storage here and on back. We just got a few jackets and things thrown in there for now. They do have some uh, little storage places there you can put some things. We just more storage in here and then storage here so here is the bathroom can okay, anything you want to say about the bathroom or? well we just think it's fairly big so it's a nice size um this is actually called a wet bath so you can see how your toilet paper stays covered up and there's a few little cabinets for your toiletries like toothpaste soap those kinds of things so it all closes up so that you can do the wet you can do the wet bath, the shower right in here where your your toilet is as well. Yeah, so you just when you're traveling you want to have it snapped so it's not flapping around. And then you just push it around like that. That's it. Close it up. Yep. Okay, so this is our bed. I'm sure if you can see this, it's kind of like uh, here let me have that and I'll show them up close to this part. There is like a seat belt release right there. You push it, and it releases the bed. There's also some lights up here. Let me turn those on so you guys can see. There goes another one right there. Okay, so after you undo the 
seat belt strap there. You just kind of let this down and then these two legs fold down. Just like that. And pull the bed over. There it is. Okay, in she goes. <laughs> there is a place where you can buckle that seat belt back up there so it's not dangling on your head. There's a clip. You see it? Yeah. This goes right like that. Then you get this little basket that pulls down and you can put your phones and different things like that in it mm -hmm. at night. There's power. There's yeah, there's power more pa plugs back power there. back there. There's and also this little thing you can put something in. Yeah, and then there's a light right over here. You push the button once and you get kind of just a blue light. Push it and hold it and you get a white, pretty bright light. Cool. One of the things important to Karen with um, our Class B was that she didn't have to uh, make a bed every night. So this one you can leave this on here and just fold it up. And if you want to, you can actually leave it down. We lock all the storage that it gives underneath there, too. Right. So we can leave our blankets and pillows and stuff on mm -hmm. it and close it up with those in there, right? Yeah. So you just uh, fold it up. You pull this cushion up a little bit, slide it over. You can see it's got a bed system here on it. It's actually really, really comfortable. Yeah, it is. Fold the legs in, just like that. Over here. Got a little seat belt thingy. Yeah, and just like that, the bed is put back up. Right. You have uh, power here and USB. So that gives you now. We spun one of the chairs around there. You can see the other one just spin, spins around just like that one. Yeah. Comfortable? Mm hmm. It's very comfortable. Something fired up here. It is a keyless start, which is pretty nice. You just have to have the key fob within a certain location. There's all kinds of drink holders and over here in the door, there's storage spaces and stuff like everywhere. Um, touch screen up here. And like I said, this is on the Dodge Promaster 2023. So it went from like a five speed to eight or nine. I can't remember exactly mm -hmm. for sure. But um, yeah, so it sits on a Ram chassis, yeah. right? One of the things I really like about it is this mirror right here. When you're driving down the road, you can see right behind you what's going on. And I haven't driven it yet. No. I've got to get my nerve up to practice. Yeah. <laughs> when we were impressed, these seats are actually pretty comfortable. Oh, yeah, it's very comfortable. Uh, they do have side air, airbags on them. So, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. Yes. And, um, we're, um, if you can't tell, we're really excited. And yeah. um, we think this is going to bring um, a lot of fun to our adventures. Not that we wouldn't have fun. We always have fun, don't right. we? <laughs> yeah, no matter what we're doing. but. Just a little different content, I guess. Yeah. Well, it'll be in addition to the content we're already making. Right. Uh -huh. We're still going to be in the Smoky Mountains, East Tennessee, Western North Carolina. Right. All about. You just probably see us in this quite a bit more often. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, and big tickets to come with us a lot, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> a lot of times on our trips, because they don't allow pets, we can't take big tea. So... Uh, this will make it really nice for him to just always be with us. Yes. Don't be jumping out. Come here. Unless we're reviewing a hotel yeah. or right. cabin and it's not pet friendly. Yeah. 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 Again, shout out to A&L RV Sales. And um, check them out. If you're looking for a camper or a van, they've, yeah. they're all over the, the south. And they've actually mm -hmm. got one right there in Kodak and Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Ours came from up in the Johnson City area. but mm -hmm. yeah. So that's going to do it. Big T, going to tell everybody bye? Hmm? Going to tell them bye? Tell them what you think. You going <laughs> to give them your two cents? Two paws worth? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much again. Until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Big T, say bye.